Montana is famous for being trout country, but there's also walleye country, especially up in north central Montana, which is officially called Russell country. In July, my fishing partner Gene Collin and I spent 10 days up there trying to prove it. Our first stop was Fresno Reservoir, just west of Haver. There, with the help of local anglers Carolyn Anderson, who is also a well-known artist, and Charlie Fischard, we had two days of terrific walleye fishing. We fished the rocky points on both sides of the reservoir. And the edges of submerged vegetation. We used jigs and small swim baits and had constant action. Nothing huge, but lots of eating sized walleyes. Besides the fishing, we enjoyed the great scenery all around Fresno. Next year, I plan to spend a little less time trout fishing and a little more time up in Fresno fishing for walleyes. After Fresno, we made a quick stop at Beaver Creek Reservoir, just south of Haver. This fairly small reservoir has a 10 horsepower limit, so we couldn't fish it with my boat. But we did manage to hook up with fisheries biologist Cody Nagel and have a little chat about fishing on Beaver Creek Reservoir. He told us that even though Beaver Creek Reservoir has some huge walleyes, it wasn't fished very much. And Beaver Creek is a gorgeous place that not very many people know about. And I'd sure like to get a smaller boat and go back there and try and catch a few of those monster walleyes. Our next stop was Tiber Reservoir, just southwest of Chester. We fished the first day with local expert Dennis Hansen, who owns the Vets Club in Chester. We even got to fish in his spiffy Team Lund boat. The fishing wasn't red hot while we were at Tiber, but we did manage to catch a few walleyes. Tiber is a huge reservoir, and beautiful too, with well-developed campgrounds, and it's basically a bonanza for all kinds of water-based recreation. And right in the middle of the lake is an island called Bird Island. No problem figuring out how it's got its name. Last stop was Lake Francis, which is basically right in the town of Valier. Lake Francis is also a small reservoir owned and operated by the local irrigation district. It has its own version of Bird Island, although it's not officially called that. We didn't have much time to give Lake Francis a good test, but we did manage to find a few walks. <laughs> 